Team Secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <sighs> Alliances turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten. Alliances turn to pick. has a I mean they know that a secret is gonna pick up the Chen at first pick right Ten yeah. seconds so they have a plan. remaining but, I mean I think they they definitely know they want to ban Bouncy because it, that's like five the seconds remaining the first game and they know that if they ban Bouncy they're probably giving Chen so it, I don't think it should be any kind of surprise to them alliances uh, they get turn themselves to the pick. bat with that as well which is uh Oh god, we've Team seen, we actually have seen this one. Pick. They picked this exact one, exact draft for uh, against Fnatic that they had in the group stages. That was the fastest game that Alliance had. They won within 22 minutes because S4 Batrider is a beast. <laughs> and then creates so much space for Bulldog that he can also be a beast. And then basically they, they had a they had a, a, a Chen for Loda in that game as well, or not a Chen, a uh, Sven, rather. Ten seconds they, they, remaining. They just ran over their opponent, and I'm kind of scared for the Secret right now. But yeah, but they have the Chen, though, so remaining. Chen can actually control the early game. Like, the games that I remember you mentioned, Bear Rider Team having a lot of farm to, to make a lot of space, so if the Chen can actually control the early game, maybe gank the Bear Rider and pressure his lane, and slow down the tempo, because, like you mentioned, if they go for Sven and Lone Druid, they have two heroes that will rely on the bat to make a lot of space if they go down that route. So the bad Ten rider should be the focal remaining. point where the enemy team would try to shut him down in as the first target because he's going to be the remaining. one making space for the team. And another relatively early Oracle pickup. Yeah. yeah. Reserve this time, time. Most likely against the bat. Uh, yeah, it's very good against the bat, definitely. I, I was saying in the previous draft that maybe it was picked with the bat just to like protect it. And I, about the bat also, I just want to say one thing, which is that uh, the Fnatic game, do either of you guys remember? I, didn't S is that the game where S4 solo killed mid one? Yes. Like yes, yes, yes. yes. In do, you, two. do you think that could happen against Weeha? Do you think it's likely? To, I mean, it probably depends on the hero, but very dependent on hero. We are the kind of players Alliances that die solo turn to ban. I, I don't know because that was a big part of that game. That was like you know all the momentum for S4. When, I saw Wings do the same thing actually. When a bat rider in the mid lane makes a kill that early in the game, that's when you get out of control. Whether you get stacked Ten or so thing. Like, remaining. I, I think that even if you don't get a kill early, the more important thing that when I'm playing Five Bear Rider, I always remaining. focus on yelling at the supports. I mean, not yell, <laughs> but I, I tell them to stack for me. Okay, you get what I mean. Yes, I, yes I'm yes, telling yes. them to stack for Team me. Team Secrets, turn yeah, I, to <laughs> ban. Or yell, which is so, the same thing, just a little bit harsher. <laughs> it's fine. I, I've been in a pub with you. You are very vocal in a good way, but you are also very vocal when something doesn't go the way that you want. It to go. Are you you to Ten <laughs> seconds remaining. Uh, he gets he gets very agitated as in you know he Five just, he seconds just wants remaining. the team to do well. He is and very if you're the if you're the weak link, then the he will let you know that you are the weak link. GG. Reserve time. <laughs> All right. No, uh, we, we actually won. Help. It was fine. <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of caps in the caps in in winter. You can captain a team Dude, well. you, you know that I was sitting next to Owen at the house and you know he was like trolling the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you get mad easily when he's like trolling you the whole game. Because you, you want to take it You get mad or? easily. Yeah, I get mad. Like, <laughs> like whatever, dude. Like, he's like running, telling us to go in. I'm like, how are we going to go in? You're going <laughs> to die. Like, whatever. He's like, just, just go in, just go in. And I'm going in with him and he kills me every time. 
Do you want to psychoanalyze their expressions? <laughs> Do they look happy? Do they, they look focused. And you mm -hmm. can't judge someone on their re resting face. Some people have just a focused, angry face, focused, sad face, focused. Happy Puppy's always got the leg bounce going. Who has a focused, happy face? Uh, no. Yeah, no, that, no do one. People, no. If you're focused, you, you can't be smiling. Sometimes so. you can smirk. No, but, but you know smirk. how some people have like a resting, uh, resting bitch face? How Do people have a resting, happy face? <laughs> it's a smirk. Is it a smirk? Yeah, but... That but it's not resting. No, it doesn't, it's not resting. A smirk yeah. seems like you would do it on purpose. Yeah. Like you do. <laughs> I was actually I was gonna say Slax has a resting happy face, but it's not really. He just smiles a lot. Oh yes, yeah. turn to ban. I would like to have a ha resting happy. Face. That would actually would seem like you're a maniac. <laughs> well, Secret actually. Sorry, banned back the to the draft. Yeah. Secret banned the well, they banned the Sven. We talked about how we know that Alliance will want it, but they also banned the Gyro, which is the hero that EE has been playing like a lot. Ten recently. seconds. Do they go terribly for themselves because Gyro could be. Good versus killing the Five illusions of Five seconds Parabay. remaining. And they've, and they've got the Oracle. Which and the is, Chen, yeah, yeah. Make sure that you will get a Thunder off every time. And I, this Reserve is what we've been waiting for for the whole tournament. Eternal Envy used to be like the ultimate Terrorblade picker. And he was really sad yeah, when the hero got He nerfed. meant black. But we just Those are the two it. biggest yeah. players. We Alliances talked about the turn to pick. every single draft that we've seen Secret Drew apart from the previous game, <laughs> where we actually saw the Terrorblade. Yeah. And since we talked about it right now, we won't see it this game. Sorry. Yeah. You're saying we jinxed it? We, we jinxed it. But maybe with that it. saying that, I anti-jinxed it, so Absolutely. we'll see it again. But maybe by saying that, yeah. So you actually want to see the Terrorblade pick? I wouldn't mind seeing it. I think I, I think I would really uh, like uh, seeing it. He used to be it. kind of a relatively boring hero to see because it's, I mean, sometimes a lot of illusion based split push heroes can be boring. 10 but he's seconds just like remaining. In your face push early. Type yeah, he, of a carry he kills your stuff so fast. Five There's seconds nothing to see remaining. when he's winning the game. But still fun because it, it, it forces fights to happen. Like you have to defend. Reserve time. And he's new. All right, sure. I wonder. I just want to see. T I want to see. What, you just, I mean, okay. Like a so fan, our fan boy. okay. So <laughs> two years from now, we're probably gonna all, you know, grown resident sleeper when Arc Warden gets picked. But the first <laughs> time Arc Warden gets picked in a game, we're gonna be excited. Yeah, I guess. New stuff is exciting. Exactly. The, yeah. the reason I want to see Jackie Mao play Terra Blade is we were discussing during the previous game like item builds for Terra Blade, mm -hmm. and you want to see Eternal Envy play a carry to know what the build is because he's the mm -hmm. guy who's figured out exactly the best build. And we'll see if he goes the Dragon Lance. Yeah, does he copy the, the the builds that the Chinese teams have been going? Because some of them go Dragon Lance, some of them don't. Uh, I think we were just saying Silo doesn't usually. Um, well, they did. He's once. very old school though, Silo. He doesn't do anything like too weird or. Well, like the new invention. Yeah, new invention. Right. Like. So, uh, if you go according to the first game, Team they will pick Bench, but this time they're going to go for the Witch Doctor because of the Chan Creeps. This hero yeah, does good. better against the Chan Creeps. Because they were thinking a long time for that pick. Oh, oh, yes. oh yes. I anti-jinx it with my anti-jinx things. Well yes. done. I'm very happy. It worked. Any predictions it's from anyone? What, what his item build will be? Um, I don't think he goes Dragonlance. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't play the hero. <laughs> I think he just goes like Aquilamanta, Scotty. I mean, the normal build, yeah. The normal build is like all those items, the stat items. Mm. And Manta is always good versus Bear Rider. So he can't, it's very hard for the Bear Rider to lasso you if you're quick on the fingers. Right. And you can remove the root from the bear, so it's mm. very Ten useful. Ten seconds remaining. So for Alliance, um, five seconds remaining. What are they gonna go for for Loda this game to go with the Lone Druid? Yeah, and they they've pro they might feel pressured to pick Loda here now because Reserve it looks like Secret are starting to only ban Loda heroes at the end of the draft. Um, I think they'd prefer to pick a support and save Loda here, but so quick quick mechanics question. Um, when Terrorblade Sunders, it's not considered if he's at low HP and he Sunders a high HP target. That's not considered. Healing for the purposes of Oracle all. It's just HP Team swap, secrets. correct? Turn like it to wouldn't pick. actually con be considered healing. Yes. I don't so know. he would gain HP while the ulti. Right. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Like? I think he just raw just would switch, no matter what. I, I also think, think so. I think so. Because yeah. he's not considered heal. Because you can still right. swap HP when Ice Blast. Exactly. So I, I, I'm not sure. I think it should work that way. I would agree with that too. So why do they pick Silence? Is that to counter the fact that the Oracle got like and the Thunder yeah, mostly? Exactly. And then Bear Rider, you Ten know, when I'm playing Bear Rider, Silence is my best friend. I just let, I just like whatever, let's go in and Five then go is remaining. It's it's one of EGM's comfort heroes as well. It's a very good pick here. It counters the Chen, it counters the Oracle, it counters Terrorblade. You have to go Lotus Swap, you have to go Greaves, you know. Then you have to get a Manta BKB on Terrorblade. I do think that, I mean, one weakness of a support silence Ten is that seconds sometimes remaining. you get into a position Ten where, like, seconds. if you're behind, then it, all it does turn is to there's nothing else in the game. Um, yeah, but that's, like, what he needs to do, you know? Like, 
he's like AA, very similar to AA. Like he provides a lot in the laning phase, he zones the offlane, he's very hard to deal with as an offlaner. And then after that, you don't really gank, you're just sitting down Ten trying to farm. Seconds and remaining. whenever a team fight happens, you pop your ultimate. That's basically what the hero does. Five seconds time. remaining. So for a hero, which is not your typical loader hero, at least not in this patch. But it seems like time delay is actually really good against Reserve Team Secret time. right now. Yeah, but they can't really. F oh, may yes, it's they can. They can pick loader. But, but, but I don't really like Void safe lane. Just me, me neither. Both. They can. They can put long druid safe lane. They do but a lot of stuff. But it is kind of a loader style. That's true. It's Turn to Bulldog ban. To go safe lane, loader to bit off lane, yeah. Void. They it's have possible. Rounds, so maybe. Uh, I think if they knew what Misery's hero were going to be, they'd be more comfortable in doing that. I want what? Yeah. I, well, what do you guys think of the the Zeus versus Bat in the mid lane? Because ten I saw seconds so remaining. The other game, <laughs> both both heroes start stick. Well, <laughs> that's I, five seconds remaining. Reserve time. We we were talking about how S four is Bat Rider really early on. Five seconds remaining. Right. When Wings were playing Bat Rider, they also got a alliance turn to against, pick. I think it was Vegas squad. No one on the Zeus, and it was like level two or something. He just got too many stacks on Zeus, and but I wasn't sure. Like, is that how the lane's meant to go? Oh, this is a good ban by Secret. Sorry, go ahead. I, I, I'm just wondering, like maybe Wings has not, like a battle Zeus meant to win that lane, or is it just meant to be? Uh, I mean, it should be better for Bat Rider because you are always the hero that has the kill potential. Should always pose a threat of pressure to the enemy. So yeah, but you should still be able Ten to farm. Ten seconds and remaining. If you play relatively slave, you should be able to farm and not die. Five but, you know, seconds like, sometimes players remaining. Sometimes get greedy and whatnot. You know, shit happens. I think I feel like the turn rate actually really annoys Zeus. Like you, once you go reserve the time. Yeah, that's why you have to be careful. Like try not to be. Ten too seconds remaining. So for the last pick for Alliance, they're gonna look for a loader hero. Um, that can facilitate the push. In Team the first game, we saw Slada. Turn to pick. Um, this game, we have Bat Rider to initiate, so maybe he'll be on something that helps the push more. Ooh. Well, this is really, really unexpected because it's like very greedy now, Lone Druid and Spectre. It's super greedy, and, and I think it really does matter now that they have a support silencer because if your cores are greedy and you have a support that only does... A yeah, but then the, the thing is, like when you pick silencer, you want a core that can actually fight, so you can actually... Or jungle, then you can take the lane. That's why... That's Ten when the silencer remaining. is really happy because you have a lane and you can keep farming. But the Spectre here is like... Remember what Parker said during the end of the game? He, he feels like after the, the first two games, he feels like the team would focus a lot on picking more late game, so you actually secure the game in that sense that if the game goes long, you have a lot of late game. What do we look out for here, guys? What do we look out for? The timber saw pick is quite weird, though. Yeah. Like they need to help. Like the Chen needs to help the timber saw. Otherwise, the timber saw will have a really hard time because it's against silencer. I th I think that uh, secret have a maybe slightly better draft here. Yeah. In my opinion, and also I just I voted Terrorblade last round. I'm voting Terrorblade again. This time it's even Eternal Envy. So I'm gonna say secret actually. Yeah, I feel like um, Alliance got kind of backed into a hole. They had to pick a carry that they maybe weren't super comfortable with mm -hmm. in their lineup in the Spectre, and I think that that really gives Secret the edge here. Okay, Ten let's seconds let's see remaining. If, uh, the late game is going to go Alliance's way, or if perhaps Secret can do Five it. It is seconds a remaining. It is do it or die match, guys. Secret or Alliance, which team will move on to the top four? Let's find out. really does not like versing Timbersaw. So I like to believe that Greed can be punished. And I'm going to hope that Secret have what it takes. But this is so far been a game and a series where Greed has paid off. Are we going to see it again? Whoa, Last game. Well, me? all right. Yeah, there's a uh, Dota happening here, guys. That, that smoke on by is next level. Smoke down mid, up the enemy ramp Without into the Radiant enemy. Jungle. Hey, Pylite, how's it going, buddy? Oh, Daggers there. The tower, They're going to dive this one a little bit. Do they want to commit into the tower? No, Alliance. Ooh. Their turn to try for a super aggro smoke. Hoping for that first blood and the quick start, but this time will be denied. That's like some alliance, like next level theory craft. Like you go back, this is a team who's come up with like some next level level one the strats, being the TP level one Roge, stuff like the Fury on beta. They it. I feel like that's one of those things they've theory crafted. Like, okay, everyone just smokes down the bottom lane into the Radiant Jungle. What else can we begins. do from the dire side that's going to catch someone by surprise? Eh, straight down mid. Let's do it. We sneak by. This smoke doesn't pop. Unfortunately, it doesn't work there, though. 
Yeah, definitely a good effort though here. And we get underway. Bounty runes were grabbed and the heroes enter the lane. So we did see a hill ward drop down up over towards that top rune, trying to protect the mid lane Zeus. Fairly vulnerable, albeit Alliance, not the best roaming support duo. Meanwhile, Bulldog having the full complement of bears this time as he didn't have to give one up early. A little yep. bit of pull a bit safer. Doesn't have to commit the hero for this. And he'll grab the entire creep wave off, so pretty nice start for him, but loses his creep wave to a neutral camp, which is uh oh. Whoa, Bulldog. Oh, hey, buddy. He gets snared. He himself. could be in trouble here off the bat. Uh, not going to go start, down just start. yet, but that auto attack damage really punishing him. And oh, we'll get the salvo. Yeah, he, he fumbled that one a bit, but he really didn't want his neutral camp, oh, the neutral camp taking his creep wave, but. Yeah, for him. and nicely done by Secret to deny that. This used to be a very uh -huh. common tactic back around the TI3 era with the constant pulling from. Prophets and Lone Druids. Uh, now you have some other options with the new map, especially in this patch. Because EGM, ooh, almost got clapped there. Might have been a first blood if yeah, that happened. He, wait, he, got, he went for an auto attack before the clap, but had the Fairy Fire, had the Tango heal going, so it's Denied! always going to be happy to get that early kill. So I think importantly for the off lane for Bulldog is that the Metamorph is on cooldown. That actually makes the long cool and does allow to play a bit more aggressive. Yeah, if they, if they, 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 they get the first blood, they're totally worth it. Mid lane, we're going to have a big skirmish as for committing for this, but he's so low that one more nuke will bring him down. He underestimates the little Lightning Man's damage output, gives up the first blood. If Normally not a lane where Batrider dies. At yeah, this stage. if you told me one thing about this game, like. I would not have never have believed that S4 gets solo killed mid by a Zeus. Um, like, especially when it's an S4 bat. That is the one thing I would have refused to believe could happen this game. And it, well, it just happened. So, what a series this has been. Like, the comebacks we've had in game one and game two, and now, like, a completely unexpected start to game number three. I'll tell you one thing. Magic Stick is going to be damn good in this mid lane. Yeah. That's for sure. Both players already picked it up. But with the kill there, Weeha will be much more comfortable. Also leading in terms of CS, albeit it is early and it's fairly close. So the good news for Alliance is that they are farming pretty well on Bulldog in the off lane. So too is the Spectre, not really being shut down early. And oh, Bulldog has been caught out. But they're terribly not quite in range to really threaten for a kill. Holding on to a skill point didn't go. If he can get, if he's 100% sure of a kill, he'll get the point in reflection. Otherwise, I doubt it. S4, he's going to go for it again. And this time will be thwarted as well. You know. Sport. Doesn't have those boots yet. And he's, we are just, his movement's really good. Like, he does a little zigzag. It's like, you're running from a crocodile, what do you do? You don't run the straight line. Those things run faster than you, so he does a little zigzag, and you can't zigzag as well in the, the Batrider. He's, he's done his research. How do you feel about the Terror Blade? This, oh, we high. He's going for it in the mid lane, throws out the bolt. He's got the level two chain. Not quite enough. But when Zeus is bullying a Batrider in any way, shape, or form, yep. you know things are going to be tough in that mid lane. Not in the way you'd expect. Secret's pulling a lot of these lanes. Pilot Eye onto the Lone Druid in the off lane. He keeps on denying his, his neutral pull as well, so. so uh, the one lane we haven't really talked about, uh, Spectre is farming, but how do you feel about the Timber Saw this game? I think you briefly mentioned that you feel like it could be a good matchup, but what are, what are the keys here for Misery? I think he just needs to get that early farm and levels, which Chen spent some time top guaranteeing that Timber Saw at least get, what, a fast level three, and from there, like, he can at least stay in this lane, not get completely bullied out of it. And if he can get like a, a few little items here or there, suddenly that here, like Timbersaw is a good counter to Spectre. And that to me is a big reason why this pick is going to work well for Secret. Oh, another engage between S4 and Weehaw. Since when do mid players actually fight this much earlier? Double damage oh, regret by S4. All right, finally, he might get what he needs, but rotating in is the Chen. Can he possibly save Weeha here? And turn this one around, needs just two more auto attacks, it looks like. Weeha, alive for now, pops the stick. That's gonna keep him in fighting shape, but S4 commits. Third time's the charm, he gets him. He's looking for Puppy as well, and Gustav has pulled it off. Grabs two mid and flaps away. You know, gods, most players after the first blood and the second failed attempt, the walk of shame back to base would take it easy. S4 triples down on the aggression and it pays off. Master of the rune. Uh, <laughs> not just the fact, not just the rune he gets there, but the fact he makes sure he gets it with a really perfectly timed flame break. Didn't have to be a DD. I think if it's not a, like a DD or a haste, he probably doesn't get those kills. But ultimately, he's in the position to make his own luck and turns up, gets the double kill. Suddenly, Alliance in a much better spot because this Batrider, the blink timing when you go for this greedy Spectre Lone Druid duo. And you've got a support silencer who can't rotate. Witch Doctor, who's not a roaming hero. 
S4's bat is the only hero that can control the tempo of this game, find pickoffs, lead what Alliance like, around the map, so he needs to have a good game. When he's getting yeah, mid early get on, Alliance are in all sorts of trouble, so a huge turnaround for him. And he's got four stacks here. He's, he's going got for the lasso. Kill. He wants Weeha. Oh, beautiful. Come here, buddy. I got a little flame for you. S4 from a first blood to a killing spree. This is quickly becoming a great redemption story, not just for him, but for the whole Alliance team. Meanwhile, though, Misery top lane. Let's get very aggressive here on the Silencer. Gonna force out that EGM salve and back away. I definitely would have believed that S4 could be on a five and a half minute killing spree coming into the game as bad. That's that's standard S4 thing. That's but. what I would have expected. If anyone's gonna be on killing spree, it is the bat on the Zeus, but not after giving up first yes. blood. That's the crazy twist. So carries kind of trading farm for the most part. Terrorblade Inspector, kind of comparable for the most part. As far as offlaners go, Misery seems to be having a slightly better time. Level five and a half and already 15 last hits, so. Well, as for Secret, they've given up a couple kills here on the Zeus. How do you see their lineup fitting together? Uh, what's the, what's like the, the game plan, the timings they're looking for? You mentioned, we talked a little bit about Timbersaw. How do, how do the pieces all come together here for Secret? I think they'll get together in the around the 10 minute mark, start press, pressuring towers with Metamorph. So they want to fight around Metamorph, the Chen Creep army, and really push their advantage. They've got that global presence of Thunder God's Wrath as well. So if they can like lead into a kill on someone like Lone Druid with that assisted damage, we could see them make a lot happen here in the early game. They rev up the snare on Bulldog, but he's going to be absolutely fine under his tower. And he's not really doing so well in terms of CS. Had a decent start of it, but he's only averaging about three CS a minute here. A little bit less, in fact. So it's been a tougher lane for him as the, the game progresses. Just going to resummon the bear now. Zeus, level six online. And I'm wondering if they look to use that Chen to set up a kill. Chen, only level four at seven minutes in. It's been a slower start here for Puppy. Yeah, he's, and he's been spending a lot of time in this jungle outside of that one rotation mid, which is what supposedly set him far back a lot this game. Not not farming in the jungle, going Do down to the Batrider, and speaking of which, Misery... Oh, he knows the fog. S4 taking advantage of it. They get the silence off of Misery, and then from behind comes the Bat Misery down as well. And that is almost the blink for S4. And the scary thing with it, oh, nice, nice call, we talking. The scary thing about the S4 Batrider blink is that you, you go in for a blink last on someone, you've got to spec the horn to back you up. Tower. Spectre is, is despite being a greedy last pick Radiance and a really amazing late game parry, is a hero attack. that can contribute to the early to mid game when you've got a good partner. And the, the Batrider is an amazing one. Not to mention you've got the Silence of Global, so it's a very safe way for Alliance to go. They have great synergy as well because the Spectre really wants to be able to get those Desolate auto attacks off, and when you drag the hero away from their team, it's very easy to get the bonus damage. So I think there's a lot of pickoff potential. Would love to see the Urn build. I, I, to me, that's been the most effective Spectre build generally, and he already has it with the phase boot. So I think, like you said, they'll be looking for those lassos and the pickoffs, and then Spectre will go back to farming on the back of them. The Alliance tower, tower defense needs to begin. It's secret, hitting that kind of Chen creep plus Metamorph timing. As mentioned earlier, they, they want to take Team 1 towers. It looks like for Alliance, they Dyer's didn't have the Batrider blink just yet. He picks it up now after farming out the mid wave, and if they'd had that blink dagger, maybe they would have been able to defend this bottom lane. But As for Secret, taking advantage of Terra Blade's incredible early game push power, mm -hmm. yeah. they will muscle down the Tier 1. They did even recruit Dyer's the Chen's assistance for that. I think here comes the Batrider blink dagger smoke gank with a Spectre Horn. This is going to be... If you're loaded, not only do you want to contribute to a kill, you want to get urn charges. Getting those first few urn charges makes a big difference. It helps sustain yourself in lane later on, as well as get that extra bit of burst in damage when going for kills. I can hear Bulldog now, gank my lane, you fools! And here we go, the lasso again, the Spectre hunt forward. There's the silence, no escape, EE down. No a nine minute well blink, no chance. Yeah, great kill. And they, a clean kill. And they commit four heroes as well as multiple ultimates, but that's the nature of the Alliance draft. You make sure you get that kill, it's a carry. The Silence has taken over the top lane to farm. This is like, all in all, Dyer's the pieces of the puzzle tower. fitting in very attack. nicely for Alliance. The one thing EGM has to be careful of is like, he's very exposed in this top lane, so that's a that's a hero that Secret may look to punish. Even a Timbersaw, if he lands his spells, could solo kill a Silence. Five to two the score, Secret. Still waiting to really see the the ganks from the Chen. It was just Dyer's a straight push top bottom top lane. I, did Puppy actually use that smoke when he went bottom? Or is he still hanging on to it? Yeah, he still has the smoke. Misery, though, really. Getting punished bad. by the Silencer quite a bit. And Lasso might be up soon. Flame Break is available. 
And it's going to be used here in conjunction with the Napalm S4 everywhere this man goes. Criminals melt. He's hit six of their kills, 10 minutes in. Just, just S4 things. I thought Alliance were all washed up, gods. What is this? I don't know. Apparently, they don't. it's a new year, and for them, it's, no, it's not 2016. It's 2013 all over again. Well, Misery called it their patch. Yeah. And they are proving that their signature heroes of old are still as strong as ever. So Envy goes back to the jungle now. Looks like the Yasha first is going to be the pickup for him. No uh, Dragon Lance shenanigans this time around. Just pure jungle efficiency. And they're going to smoke with the Terror Blade. Not rush? normally in early. This, this, this is the old Cloud9 nine, Cloud nine Against no, a Spectre and a Bat? That feels yeah. very risky. They're going for different objectives. Oh, they're going to lead the way with the Terror Blade, and they just want to jump the tower, it looks like. Well, the tower's not going anywhere. They found it. And they are going to gank it. No defending this one for Alliance. S4 Bat not in position. Even if he was nearby, he'd be kind of tricky to do so. The Global Silence is still on cooldown. Secret. When they have minimal buff, they are very strong and scary. Yeah, and Alliance, as much as they have great pickoff potential, they don't have that much AoE or wave clear. Back up now, though. The lasso's ready. This is a clean lasso if they want it. And S4, he's threatening to go in. That, blink that is getting canceled. Yeah. Pylai Dai tries to snare him, but he blinks out to dodge it. That means he can't blink into initiate. They're going to blast him with the Zeus. They keep S4 at bay, and in doing so, they secure the tower. Very well played push there by Secret. Denying any sort of initiation. And it could have been scary if he got the jump. Still kind of acceptable for Alliance. Like, those are the kind of towers they're going to have to give up. Secret are the ones who have to be the aggressors when they have the Chen Oracle Terra Blade trio. And for Alliance, it's just a bit of breathing room that Bulldog has not had this game. He's starting to catch up to the cores, up to 4K net worth. It's that typical struggle in the laning stage, catch up later on kind of game. Hi, they're trying to hang on to the lasso here and finish him off without it. They will commit the haunt. Firefly going in over the top. Puppy's there with the heal. Spectre engages into this one. The Zeus starts to go to work. A lot of nuke damage from him. Pylai Knight kept alive by the ultimate. They drag back Puppy. They're going for the twofer. Do they get it? Pylai Knight old about 10, almost dead. Loda rushes in. He's going to get the last hit. It's a double for Loda. Misery whiffing the chains. And now Envy looks to chase. Can Loda get up the cliff? He's got the dagger heading over the tree line. They can't quite run him down. Using the path. Gets away. Weeha! Didn't have the rage there on the bolt, but the Wild King gives the vision. They're going to chain forward. Do they have that chakra distance? Doesn't look like it. Another urn charge, and he makes it out. Loda getting aggressive early. It's a drums pickup as well. Alliance, after a lot of effective early ganks, are going to keep on going with the pressure. I, I really like it from Loda. The decision to get drums when you know your team can't be creating like 4v5ing totally without you because you've got the lone druid. If anything, it's 4v5 without lone druid right now. And Loda says, okay, I'll probably go for the Radiance. But I want to get the drums along the way just to make our team fight that much better right now, considering Lone Druid is not in fighting shape. Do you do you reckon he gets the radiance, or do you maybe let Bulldog do it and go for something like the you know the Manta Defusal type build? I think Manta Defusal is very viable this game. It's the Manta is always just like a really nice item to amplify a lot of your damage output. Uh, you can farm just fine without the radiance, so I think it's still a legit possibility that they just stick with the, the typical radiance bear and Spectre just go for more of that fighting oriented. What's, uh, looks like there is action top though. They found Loda. They're gonna chain onto him, and this time they get the Spectre. A much needed kill for Secret. But while that was happening, a bit unfortunate, Ake was trying to drop a ward near the lane to prevent exactly that maneuver. Doesn't quite get there in time though, but maybe Puppy's the trade. They've got him. They found the Holy Knight. His holiness. Uh, look at look at the spam pins like dead. right on the ward. <laughs> like, uh, I think this is uh, something they somehow blink and lassoed me. Out of nothing. I mean, S4 is a good bat rider, but there's no way he's that good. <laughs> this is the call by Puppy. Team. And that ward just planned by Alliance in the top lane, kind of not as valuable anymore because they've lost the T1 tower. It's a great ward to have to scout that rotation up top, put yourself in a position to take a fight up there and defend it, but it just, the push came too soon from Secret. And that's something which Secret have to keep maintain. Push, push, push. Don't stop that. Don't, don't stop or slow down. More, even more so when Alliance have their ultimates, when, uh, when they have their ultimates on cooldown. Global Silence and Haunt aren't available. You've got to go and take advantage of those long cooldowns. Yeah, we haven't actually seen that Global in the lasso yet combo. They've just been doing regular lassos. It's yeah. been working they out. They had the one at bottom lane when they first killed Envy, which was like the, the first Global oh, in the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, that's true. But since then, it's just been finding lasso pick off whenever possible. Secret of five man too much to do that because 
the you've got to silence instantly, otherwise the false promise kicks in. That's a big reason why the silence pickup is amazing. It actually makes the Batrider viable. It, it negates so many, the Oracle so hard. We've seen so many Oracles just, just negate Batrider's impact in the mid to late game through false promise, but Silence just suddenly says, eh, it's okay, we, we, we can still do this. Bulldog trying for the trade in the bottom lane. The tower is very low, and they want Envy to get the last hit here, if possible. One more auto-attack gets the job done. He's walking forward, and oh, he's beat Sunday. So he'll make it out. There's the haunt. Looks like they want to engage onto this on the top lane. At the same time, Weeha's gone bottom onto the lone druid. Pylai die looking to keep himself alive with the ultimate. But does he make it out of here? Loda's on the hunt. Phase is in, gets a couple of auto attacks off, even through the heals, though it's not enough damage yet. Zeus ult committed, they're also trying to chase down the Chen, perhaps. There's the lasso, S4 trying to prevent the setback. Looks like they might get two again, Alliance, no, there's the Hand of God. Keep alive, Pilot Die, still running, so tanky. They just can't kill him off, S4 and set back. <laughs> they're keeping them all salvaged. Secret, giving up nothing. It's S4's turn to run. There's the slow from the Terra Blade, the chase forward, trying to shut down this Batrider, but he's got the four step now. And S4 will make it out safely in the end. This pilot eye guy is pretty Radiance godly. Middle tower like he, is under attack. It's going to be one of those players who has the probably worst like ratio of like KDA to like how good you are at Dota. Like his K, his his normal like kill score and deaths is just like one of the worst con considering just his amazing ability. He's zero one and zero. He's done so much more than that in this game. He has been a key reason into shutting Bulldog down in lane, getting tons of clutch saves off, applying a lot of pressure, and well. Secret off to another smoke. This time, perhaps thinking Roche. This is the Roche sneak. Yeah. They bypass they, the ward. They know the haunt and the last are on cooldown. Oh, yeah. Very, very safe movement. But now, we've seen this exact Roche and All right. fire so, so many times. So here's what's going to happen. Alliance is going to five-man wipe them at the pit, and then they will win. Yeah, I mean, they've got the greedy that's draft. The that's, that, if, if we go by history, that's right. exactly what's going to happen. They have lasso. They've got global now, they too. They do not have haunt. This oh, no. movie has happened oh, too no. many times before. The bear comes in, gets off the Savage Roar, delay the Roshan, what a play by Bulldog. He may lose the bear, but this is setting up the whole team to get in position. Ready. Do they engage? As for God of the Pit, the Batman jumps in, there's the global, where's the lasso? They're gonna pull Misery out of the picture, up onto the cliff, he's down for the count. Ake gets blasted by the Zeus, but it's already too late. Alliance. Still a hard fight. Looking for the Roche fight, but Alliance they've committed. Can't really continue. They want to wait Metamorph out here. If Metamorph wears off, then Secret are incredibly weak. There's a fail up. They're still looking to go in. S4, is he going to commit on this? The Roche is low. Can the team that started the Roche oh, actually sure. finish it for once? S4 wants to jump in. The Bear, again, Envy's trying to in. turn the Roche fight. Envy's committed to this. Loda runs into the pit with the Radiant, get the Aegis as well as the kill, and then Loda dies immediately. Weeha might be the trade of beautiful cast. Look at they it go. go! They get four, and now they chase on Envy. Oh. He got the Aegis. He got the Roche kill, but was it enough? They push in the Bear. They're not quite in range. The Timber saw rejoining the fight, trying to at least salvage the one prize they got from this. That cask, though. I'm just like, Roshan, every single time, these teams have got to just be like, kicking themselves like, man, I thought finally we found an opportunity to go for Roshan, and again, just not like this. Roshan third third time, definitely contested. not the charm here. <laughs> Third time, third disaster at I'm the pit. I'm watching this like we've seen two Roshan disasters. Surely it's on a third game in a row, like LD. That that doesn't happen, I right? I felt it coming. Ugh. I felt it. It's so hard to Roshan against this draft, though. Yeah. When there's Global and Lasso, they have no counterplay at this stage. They yeah. don't have any way to purge off the, the no Yule Scepter on anybody, uh, no Manta style, no Diffusal Blade. No BKBs. They had to just gun they into the they, Oh, they do have the one man yeah. on the Terra Blade. But the Terra Blade can't stop the Lasso initiation, nope. so it doesn't really matter. Well, suddenly not looking as good as it once was for, for Secret. And it was already kind of like a feeling even game, which Secret, despite taking a ton of towers, didn't have much of a gold advantage in. So things going to continue for the worst. I mean, you just look at Alliance, wherever they have ultimates up, I don't see any way Secret take a team fight. You get Chen's the one going with for the Grieve. So Chen will have, I guess you can guarantee a Grease plus Hand of God when the Lasso's coming out, but it's ideally the Oracle who needs some way to purge off the Silence so you can get that instant false promise off. But Pi, he's not going to farm any kind of item to get rid of it anytime soon. Uh, that amazing start that he's had and all the plays he's made are really negated by the Global. So we'll see how Secret look to deal with it. For now, they do hold the Aegis on Envy who aggressively postures himself mid, clearing out the wave. And he's still very fun. Envy is the, the net worth leader currently. Well, this is a bold move. Just charging into their jungle. 
doesn't actually have that much backup, and the rest yeah. of the team is scouted by a ward here. I think the, the one the really important thing about Envy's Manta is that he can help guarantee a Sunder off, because if they're trying to use the Global Silence to prevent his Sunder, he can escape and then just make sure he, make sure he casts it. Yeah, certainly with the Aegis, I don't, I don't think we'll be seeing him as the lasso target, unless they can pull him way out of position. Uh, is it a, a career sniper? Are we going to add that to his total? What? One, two, come back here, Donkey. And it's got, oh, 3750. It's carrying so much. Did he even? I, I, he took the no wheels off now. the push. Did they have a ward? I think they had the ward there and it just expired on that cliff, perhaps, because that was like either some sixth sense or so, they're pinging out as if it's warded there. Like, it must so, be warded. So How there was know? a Yule Scepter there, and that would have allowed oh, man. them to maybe turn fights with Misery, perhaps. I think yeah. it was Misery's Yule Scepter, but S4, what an explosive game it's been. And the Yule's always, like, if you can instantly use on the pat when he blinks in, it just makes that a little bit harder for him to get those good lasso four staffs off. Seven, one, and five. They've had 13 kills. He's been in 12. Incredible and stuff. Just, like, he's got that one zero two Bulldog game going on, but that's, like, the, the dream for him. He just gets all the space in the world. He doesn't die. And considering the lane he had and how much he got pressured, it, not having a single death is a, a great performance coming out from the lone Zero who is... As per usual with Alliance, top of the net worth chart. No surprises there. It does make sense, though. I, the Spectre is just a better ganking partner uh, yep. for the, the bat. Tower. As weird as that sounds, just given that Spectre is generally considered very weak early game, I think it's a great way to Radiant distribute the form. Spectre with a Yasha now, so it will be that kind of more fighting-oriented build with like a Yasha, Manta, Defusal, whatever they feel they kind of need. Oh. Now, Radiance a big pickup here on the Bat Rider. It's the Aether Lens. And yes, also carries the gem, yep. so he's got the easy lasso. And this is where. Not well, that he's needed it up to this point. We talk about map control. Both teams unlikely to get a whole lot of vision up. Gem on the Bat Rider, you've got Zeus to D Ward for Team Secret, so. Vision gonna become fairly limited as a resource for the two teams. Well, Spectre is farming, Lone Druid is farming, Bat has been controlling the game. If you're Secret. You've had an Aegis on Terrorblade. They have taken ta Outer Towers with it. Where do they go from here? How do they cement the Terrorblade's farm and, and look to push it into a, an advantage? I don't really think they can they can fight. I think Alliance is just too strong with the Global Silence plus Lasso. So despite maybe not having the most amazing Lake game, I think they need to trend, like become more of a farming team right now. Like the Chen, just 5k net worth. You want to try and get that Aghanim Scepter up eventually. Misery's got the Yule Scepter, and also importantly, right now the Curry is dead. So like they've got 4K net worth just not available to them. So they're looking at their next couple of items, and they do not want to team fight. They want to try and find pickoffs, get the jump, and if they like find a gank on someone like a lone druid or whatever, Alliance isn't going to want to use their global silence defensively. Or if you're forcing them to do so, that's a great position to be in. Alliance want to use it when they're getting the lasso, when they're being the aggressors. So if you can force Alliance into a position where they have to react to secret in defensive nature, that's that's going to where secret want to be. So try to force them to waste the, the global, yeah. ideally. Go for some smoke ganks, try and find some pickoffs, uh, and then, I mean, just fall back and farm if you're unsuccessful. So uh, if you're successful, then suddenly all the outer towers are gone. You can threaten high ground, force buybacks. but. They do not want to try and take 5v5 engagements where Alliance has a vision advantage over them and is getting the catch. If Alliance gets the catch at the start of the fight, the fight should just be instantly lost. Oh, speaking of vision advantage, this is where the gem can come into play. Zeusult does scout out the fact that there's a smoke gank happening. And now the Courier's back. So the Yule Scepter is picked up by Timbersaw at long last. He gets something new. Yep. So he now has a solution for the global. I imagine we're going to see quite a few of these secret heroes building them up as the game progresses. Yeah, Pi, just the casual cloak, may think Aether Lens, it's okay. Like, it's at this point, he's just kind of under farm, can't really get much in the way of items. And yeah, EGM rushing a veil. We, uh, we saw it in that, Ro that Roshan pit fight, and it was one of those crazy things, like, we haven't really talked about. That makes a huge difference as far as, like, the overall damage output of oh, stuff yeah. like the, the Bat Rider. The, and, I know, and the Radiance Burn as well. Yeah. We saw this from Alliance in the group stage. It's really nasty, and it's a very kind of different, more aggressive way to play the silencer rather than, like, let's just sit in one of the side lanes and farm an throw, eggs or throw an refresher. ultimate when, while my team 4v5. Like, he's he wants to be in these fights and offer a lot more. Veil also gives a ton of intel, so it really amplifies up that Glaive's damage. Oh, not again. Uh, this time, the <laughs> Courier is wise to the bat's tricks. And that's the completed Scotty. And that, as they pick that up, would have been smoke. really yeah. devastating. Oh, they're ready for... Uh, they want to engage on Alliance here. That's a very fat Terrorblade. 
What a position to be in for S4. Looks like the, the bat is scouted out. Weeha able to prevent him from initiating. Now they move on to Loda. Scotty starts to go to work. The Yule Scepter does come out, and they look to engage, but the Global Lasso combo is used on Weeha, trying to focus the Zeus down at the start of the fight. They will finish him off the Terror. The Timbers are also dropping low during this time, and now Fredo gets to work in the middle of it, but Envy has heavy damage here. He's able to bring them down. The Big Ult's expending. Can Alliance still fight? Can Envy 1v4 here as far as the damage goes? They've already lost two. Alliance running back in. The Bears there gets the root on Puppy. Pylai die, trapped in the trees. He might go down too. Bear smacking away at him. He's alive for now, courtesy of the ultimate, but then he just melts after it ends. Four are dead. They tried to hit the timey with the Scotty, the Manta on the Terror Blade, but that Radiant global stuff. into Lasso, oh, there is just no counterplay for Secret. Yep. Chen even had the Greaves that fight, so he Greaves, he Greaves up the Zeus, he then Hands of God. They use both of their big AoE heals to try and save a Zeus, and they don't Radiant save the Zeus, so effectively two of Chen's biggest tools in a team fight, quote unquote, wasted, and then the Zeus dead at the side of the fight. That was just unwinnable team fight, and I think Alliance actually are always going to have the damage they need to kill off that Zeus if he gets lassoed in a global. It's just impossible for Secret to take a team fight. They weren't necessarily looking to take a team fight there. They were smoked up, I think, anticipating to try and get a catch and be the ones initiating themselves. But S4's positioning on that cliff just allowed them to see Secret coming and to take advantage of having like that extra bit of vision advantage over them. S4 continues to pile in the gold. 2,400 on him now. Curious okay. what the if it's is it a BKB next year? Do you think? Uh, could get travels. He's kind of he has no item slots right now, so I think travels makes sense. Although I guess you could drop the bottle off, but like travels is always just good in a game like this. You've got global presence from the silencer, the specter. So, well, if he we'll wants see. them, he can pick them up anytime. Good position now. Roshan about to come up. One minute. And yeah, he's just yeah he's just pulled the travels. All right, for staff as well. From there, there's like plenty of items. He can go for a Shivers if he wants to be able to help deal with the Terror Blade a bit better. BKB's really nice against Timbersaw and Zeus, so it's probably more, most likely BKB next. Yeah, more four, more, more four staffs here, either to initiate with the bat. Speaking of which, he's found Pilot Die again, grabs him with the Aether Lens extended range on that lasso cast. And another kill. Now Spectre haunting in, looking to engage, jumping out of Weeha. A lot of damage coming out from him. Oh, he's too slow. Weeha needs help. It's not going to come in time. S4 is godlike at secret are getting routed here in the back lines. The bear is angry. The bear needs towers. And it looks like he's gonna get them. Global still online, guys. I think the biggest sign that Secret's in a terrible spot right now is when the ultis were on cooldown, they didn't try and go aggressive. Like they lose that fight top. Typically against a lineup like this, you want to try and fight immediately after that because there's no haunt, there's no global silence. That's like the ideal time for Secret to be strong enough to take a fight, but I think importantly, Secret have a long cooldown ultimate of their own in the form of Metamorph. Like, as as bad as it is for Alliance to not have global and haunt when you're behind like Secret are, not having Metamorph is not having the majority of your damage output. It's, so. the, it's the vast majority. Timbersaw feels very ineffective in these yes. fights. And that he's their most farmed hero. So with a 16k net worth hero, without his most important spell, suddenly it's actually really problematic for Secret that they can't capitalize on Alliance having these long cooldowns down. Well, we saw that in the in the last fight top, that it, it basically was a 1v4, 1v5, almost immediately for Envy. And even with the Metamorph, struggled to get the damage out, let alone if you don't have it. But back on topic here for the current action. Secret move down mid. Alliance in decent position up on the high ground. They have a global. They have a lasso. Secret feeling a bit desperate perhaps to get an opening, but they don't have a great initiation. They are not the team with a bat rider like Hero. Puppy is going to lead the way. He runs in and just nukes an illusion off the bat and then goes in for some auto attacks on Bulldog. Man, Secret really pressing for these kills, but the cast is going to shut the door on that. <laughs> Back and forth. And, well, it was a good effort, hoping to secure a position for Roshan, but not going to amount to anything. Speaking of Roshan, it's now up. I, I, there's like no way Secret blade, for that. Terror Blade. I mean, as bad a position as you might be in, you don't go for Roshan right now for Secret. So I guess with this, Envy just looking to be able to purge off his teammates, grabbing the Diffusal Blade yeah, on Terror Blade. Yeah, I think so. You want to you be able to yeah, get rid of the silence on someone like the Oracle instantly. I mean, they're not going to be able to farm anything I that will remove it. So it's an interesting grab by Envy. Yeah. Known for his out-of-the-box thinking. I think a very kind of creative way to try and play these team fights. Oh, uh, they want to move. They've got a lot of mobility here. Mass array of four steps, but Secret are just far enough out of 
range that they can't quite grab them. Still, already at the fusal blade charge getting popped. Looks like Misery tries to slow down but and push out that bottom lane, but Alliance are having none of it. Into the pit they go. They are looking for the Aegis. They have Global, they have Lasso, they have the vision advantage around the pit overall. And it's gonna be very tough for Secret yeah. to contest. And Secret have to give this one up. They know Roche is going on, they have the ward of the Secret shop the mid lane, and when they don't see Alliance walking past those wards to retreat, it's like, well, they're at Roche, but can we really fight them? Unlikely, so they're giving Alliance a Roche, and they're gonna put all their all their beans just in the high ground defense. Like, that's that's exactly like what they're gonna try and do with Timbersaw's Zeus. They can stall the game out. They can try and deal with the Batrider Lasso through the False Promise, but this game is going to quickly get very, very difficult when it's just Envy's Terra Blade. You haven't even got to farm Zeus going into the lake. If Zeus had like 12 to 14k net worth right now, I'd be like, okay, yes, yeah, they've got a shot. Maybe they can stall things out. Zeus does a lot of damage. He's an amazing late game hero, one of, one of the best when farmed, but he's got less farm than the EGM Silencer. And this is not a Midas Silencer. This is an aggressive fighting silencer with full stuff. Veil working on a hex right now. This is the old EGM. Oh, it's yeah. been a while since we've seen this level of farm on him, but yep. it used to be his signature before there was even an AUI 2000 as the, the I massively like farmed four position. more by like just farming and being greedy yeah. and jungling, but this is being by This is like the, gank, the ganking fighting yep. super farm four. And what a like what a pick up the veils been. It's one of those things which I, I think we're going to just be seeing more and more of in certain drafts because of how powerful it is. Um, we, combined with certain drafts against squishy heroes like a Zeus Terra Blade. Oh, this man. Zeus is not so a chance in any of these fights. It's a fusal blade now on the Spectre. Their damage output is getting just absolutely ridiculous. Four of the top five on net worth rest with the Alliance. And even the Witch Doctor doubling up the Oracle. So Alliance across the board, a massive gold advantage, a similar experience advantage, I am sure. And it's not like they lack for late game. They've got incredible initiation, really good team fight. Plenty of carry potential from the Spectre plus Lone Druid combo. So again, all the options are there. They can try and force the issue. They can just farm for late. The Secret are completely backed up. And all in on the Envy Terra Blade at this point. And this stage, all it takes is like one big S4 pick. You can see how aggressive he's trying to be with that fire. Oh, he's found it. He's going to grab Weeha. Drags him out of the base. No global just yet. They are going to manage to purge that last off towards the tail. And then the Diffusal Blade comes in from Envy. But there's Loda with his own Diffusal going to work on Envy. Dropping quickly. They bring him down. He turns so slowly looking for the ult, but he can't get it off. They just had no save. Going to have to buy nope. back, it looks like. Oh, he does have it. 50 seconds. Yeah, there's no choice. And he will be forced to use it. But he comes back without a metamorph here. He's only got the illusions to go to work. The Spectre is down once. Can they kill him a second time? Actually, he does have the metamorph. Laying in the load and trying to finish him off here quickly. Can he do it? Can they, take they get the bear? bear but in far. Loda, you careful. cannot die. Puppy's going to go down to the glaives of EGM. Then the NBO Loda, comes through. He's entangled. Oh, the root. Where's the help? Three are dead. It's about to be four, and Envy 2 will fall. Silencer, Ultra Kill, EGM, the hidden carry of Team Alliance. GG. Woo. Just like that, Team Secret get knocked out. The crowd are rushing the stage here. It is insane. Team Alliance have knocked Team Secret out. Apparently, from Alliance's Starlighter. home turf extends to the CIS. Oh, yeah. What a win for this team. Many questioned their invite to the Shanghai Major, but I think with this one, Guts, they've proven they deserve oh, it. Dude. Alliance, they're here. They're here to stay. That's got to feel good for those guys.